Hello, fine people of the internet. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I should have ironed my shirt, but I haven't, and it's the best one I could find. However, that is not the reason why you're here. You're here for a review. Yes, it's another review video, and here I'll be reviewing this. And this is a Southern Swords English Swept Hilt Rapier, 16th to 17th century style. So this specific rapier isn't that uh, costly. It's pretty. It's pretty uh, a decent price. So I'd call it a uh, budget range rapier. And for that budget range, it's um, it's it's a nice performer overall. But we'll start out with its first appearances. So obviously it comes with a scabbard. You can see from the app from the get go, there is some some wear on it. Now, admittedly, some of that, such as the wear in the handle that you might see, is through me actually using it. You know, I've practiced with this a fair amount. Um, whereas the other, um, shall we say, weathering details that we see, um, such as here, you might be able to see that. There's a few scratches, you know, little, little nicks and things like that around the hill on the uh, on the swept hill. The same can be said for the scabbard itself. So you see that bit of silver there is actually not a feature, but if I get closer, it's where the uh, the paint has actually scratched off and it, and it came like that. Um, so I do plan on actually touching that up and uh, you know, doing, a, doing a bit of maintenance. Another little thing I should mention about the scabbard itself is that um, when it came, a lot of sawdust also does come out of it. So you want to kind of clear that out if you do get one of these scabbards. Um, even after doing that though, sometimes you still get the bit of sawdust sticking to your blade, especially if you do oil it. So that's uh, something just to take into consideration. As for the specifications of the sword itself, it's a obviously it's a wire grip metal wire grip or the pommel it's obviously got a a nut over here so yeah the tang it's a tang that goes through to a nut the overall length of the sword is from the pommel to the tip is 120 centimeters so it's, it's a decent size typical i suppose of a rapier i can show you the actual blade itself and as you can see, typical uh, steel. <laughs> it's not going to be plastic, is it? It's an EN45 spring steel blade, and of course it's unsharpened, so it's a good for a practice sword, a competition sword, or a stage combat type sword. That Those are uh, types of uses. So the blade width is 3.2 centimeters, and the length is 92 centimeters. The grip is 11 centimeters. Uh, the weight of the sword itself is about three pounds or just over maybe a little bit over three pounds so it's um one of the heavier rapiers though a typical weight for a rapier isn't that light anyway probably about in the two point something pounds range two three pounds um whereas this of course is an english uh, military style rapier actually very similar you might notice to the John Barnett rapier because it's, it's pretty much the same type of style, same type of English rapier that they've made. Obviously the balance of the sword is fairly close to the hilt, roughly around about, let's say, if we count from here, uh, we can say I think six inches from the hilt, maybe five. Five to six inches point of balance. Overall, it seems to be uh, pretty okay to use. Uh, obviously, the weight for these swords, for a single-handed sword, is a lot to take if you're not conditioned for it. But over time, as I practice with it, I find that I am becoming conditioned to the weight of the sword. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That brings me to the end of uh, the review, pretty much, of uh, the Southern Swords Rapier. My points would be is that it works functionally just fine. So if you just want something to practice with or use in combat, then great. Um, for display, I think it personally, I think it looks nice as well. 
Though um, I will repeat the point that I do think it could use with touching up, maybe uh, some uh, quality control perhaps, um, for, just for it to be of a neater appearance. Though of course the intended purpose is that it's a practice weapon, but still, that's just me. I think that's all I have to say on it really. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys around for the next review that I might do, or might not do, who knows. And uh, see ya.